Thank you. My name is Ryan Cottonsteady. I'm the co-founder and CEO of Cape Analytics. We leverage geospatial imagery and machine learning to deliver answers about uh, real estate property and the associated risks with, with physical property. Today, trillions of dollars are tied to real estate assets. Whether you're an insurance underwriter or an investor or a property developer, you make critical financial decisions based on information about the built environment. Today, these critical financial decisions rely on poor data. Originally, the preponderance of this data is the aggregation of county tax assessor information, which either comes from an assessment or comes from building permits. Uh, and oftentimes, as properties evolve, the records don't evolve and then become out of date. So they're chronically out of date. Uh, also, different counties may have different collection methods, which lead to incomplete, inconsistent records. And in general, public record information is, leaves a lot to be desired, and that's a well-understood industry problem. Our customers rely on Cape Analytics for instant and accurate property information. This is how we do that. First, we've partnered with the world's leading geospatial imagery collection platforms, sourcing imagery from drones, satellites, and aircraft, and aggregating all of that to offer us the most comprehensive, accurate, up-to-date image set across the entire United States. Additionally, we've developed our own artificial intelligence and computer vision algorithms to extract structured data from this imagery and populate a continuously updated database. Third, we deliver this information directly to our customers integrated into their own workflows through our own API. Just to drill down on this and give you a specific use case, in the case of a property insurance underwriter, a consumer might go onto an insurance company's website, put in their address, for example, 123 Main Street, and uh, seek a property insurance quote. At that time, the insurance company would ping our API and receive information about the property related to the status and condition. If, for example, we told the insurance company, look, this roof is in poor condition, they may choose not to offer a quote on that policy. If, on the other hand, we told them, no, this, this is actually in good condition, they may choose to offer a quote. And then if they would do that, they would use the other information we've provided them to come up with an accurate price. The net result of this means policies are priced more accurately, quotes are issued much more quickly, instantaneously in some cases, uh, and pro uh, policies are canceled less frequently after an inspection. So the state of the art today might look something like this in terms of the data available to property insurance companies. They might have a rudimentary building outline and understand the square footage associated with that building footprint and then know, say, the roof covering material and the number of stories. With Cape Analytics, you get a transformational view of, of that property and you get all of this instantaneously. If the building has been remodeled or there's an exterior building extension, we will identify that, which will enable the flagging and correction of the square footage. Um, we will be able to tell you other interesting property features that aren't even available from public record, like the shape of the roof, and we'll tell you parcel and structure condition, and then hazards like trees and other details. We provide this information for over 60 million properties today which is a massive step up from one year ago when we were offering this just in a single state. And this puts us on the cusp of having a true nationwide solution. We've experienced massive growth in 2017 and are well poised for a strong 2018. This consists of a minimum annual subscription value of $100,000, and we've seen over the course of this year the average increasing. We've increased bookings 5x in the past 12 months, and on average, our customers who have come up for renewal have doubled their spend with us. Furthermore, we've been pushing from a one-state solution to a nationwide solution, and we've increased the data in, in our database by orders of magnitude, not only in geographic coverage, but also in the number of features available. So with that, I want to thank you for your time. I'm happy to take a few questions now, and hopefully you'll follow up with me after. Thank you. All right, great.
So now we're going to go to the judges' questions. So Mark, first with you. Do you have any questions? Yeah, a couple questions. So your business model, so does a uh, insurance carrier, does a broker, who, who's the customer? Yeah, so we sell data analytics subscriptions. It's a SaaS model. Today, the insurance carrier is a customer of ours, but this could also be uh, uh, reinsurers are also customers of ours, and then there's other vertical constituents beyond insurance that, uh, that fit that same profile. And is it a per hit? basis per query or unlimited? We, we, we do a value-based um, annual subscription price, which is indexed against um, expected usage. And, and do you see underwriters actually decline um, based on your data? Yeah, absolutely. So absolutely. Comfortable? absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Okay. All right, Laura, any questions? Yeah, how many customers do you have today, and what's your churn? Uh, to date, we have not churned a single customer. That's interesting. Today we have, you know, between five and 20 customers. Great. Hayden? So one thing that you said sort of stood out to me, and you had mentioned that this allows insurers to more accurately price so there's fewer re-rates after inspection. Correct. Is if you still have to have somebody come out and inspect, how does that either reinforce your place in the home buying and in the insurance process sure. or erode your value proposition? Sure. So it's a complicated answer, but, but first of all, you don't have to still have somebody come inspect. Indeed, some of our customers have reduced their inspection volume directly as a result of using our product. Secondly, some insurers already choose to operate, in the absence of CAPE, they operate their business differently and they don't inspect. They just take the risk of, of writing poorly priced properties in some cases. And so, so we have... One um, ROI is reducing inspections. Yeah. Yet another is if you're already not inspecting, then we're going to give you higher fidelity data and more accurate pricing of your policies. Right? And then yet the third is even if you inspect and you use us and you still choose to go back and inspect, um, it's really damaging for your consumer relationship, for your brand, and for your broker relationship if you quote a policy, bind a policy, and then 90 days later cancel it after you've inspected, right? So having the correct information and the right price up front is, is critical, even in the case that you go back and you inspect. 